Good morning, folks. We've got a global climate report and some major plasma cosmology coming up, mega star magnetism, and you're looking here at some solar tornado plasma filaments. Let's start with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the coronal holes continuing to dominate Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. Southern one, much more visible this morning, with a departing northern opening having hit Earth with solar wind in the last few hours. The telemetry is jumping and includes a phi angle flip up top in blue. So far it is a moderate stream, so geomagnetic conditions remain low, but the event is just beginning, has all day to intensify, eyes on it. I want to quickly come back to Africa, mentioning that the hydropower problems of lacking rainfall and money make for a situation where agricultural distress and personal hunger get exacerbated by the lights going out. FYI, many aren't aware that parts of Mexico has entered a drought as well, effects taking hold rather quickly there. Folks, as the snow continues to pile up at record amounts in the United States, and we stare down winter three days away still, having already endured multiple record cold outbreaks, we come to what is by far the most horrendously misleading climate map distributed to the public in my years of sharing these monthly charts. Now in this one that they're going to distribute worldwide, we get to see there is virtually no blue. White spans across the map and the deep red of record heat is seen everywhere. Now, here is the temperature deviation map. Folks, literally all those white areas went blue. The deep red disappeared at mid-latitude and jumped north. And the blue area, well, obviously deepening and expanding as well. It is worth noting that with Earth's magnetic field weakening, the northern polar cusp plasma intrusions should indeed be making the Arctic warm faster than anywhere else, which, if you think about it, makes no sense if it's caused by low-latitude atmospheric chemistry. Let's now go to the magnetism of massive stars. The premise of the examination is to both succinctly deliver the latest developments in their understanding of stellar magnetism and its role in stellar evolution, but also to highlight the many existing mysteries and provide a reminder that complex theoretical math based on points of light in the sky can only go so far. And now, folks, get ready to have the answer to the missing mass problem, including the galactic rotation problem, made obvious, and we'll begin by summarizing with what we know up to now. We've already seen that the lost light of Hubble discovery puts tons of normal matter halos around galaxies where dark matter halos were supposed to be, and that material is co-rotating with the galaxies and is fed by filaments from the cosmic web that they themselves form spiral helix shapes. Folks, we not only have the mass out there in the right place, but its motion dynamics feed into the system. Now, here is one of Hubble's deepest shots of a faraway galaxy. All we knew was there. And now, here's Alma in radio waves. Folks, the amount of material we've thought exists in the cosmos is, and has always been, a pitifully under-inclusive guesstimation. The halos extend five times further out than the stars. They cannot explain the appearance of these massive structures, or why they cling to the dark matter halos in light of them. And to basically give you an idea, this is how we think of the Milky Way, but the halo around it wouldn't come anywhere close to fitting on this page around it here. In fact, we'd have to go to something a bit more like this if we wanted to accurately state the cloud around the cosmic city, and again, it would still bleed off the page. Now, let's take this one step further, that missing mass we can't see. Folks, this is absolutely the sky. You just need your eyes to swap from visible light to, again, radio waves. If we looked at this region of space tonight, we might see a handful of specks, just a few stars. But in this image and radio, we're obviously seeing that they're managing to hide hundreds of points of light that would then appear. Now, hold on to your hat because this is actually the equivalent of the last generation of radio scopes. Here is what they deliver to us today. You gotta be kidding me. They wanna tell us there is all this exotic, magical matter out there they can't seem to find. And yet, a nudge upward in technology reveals never-before-seen cosmic jets, galaxies and galaxy clusters at unbelievable distance, a cosmic snake, apparently, likely to be colliding galaxies, and all while they say the majority of the matter in the universe is hiding. It's just diffuse, sparse, and waiting to be seen. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, Plasma Cosmology is our movie on this topic, and it is linked below this video also on our channel page and our website. 
The right cosmology not only opens the door to free energy and interstellar travel, but it's the foundation of both Earth's catastrophe cycle and solar climate forcing. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. Of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.